happy turkey day and happy family day and we just want to give a personal message you know we all dressed up and and have all that mega board and everything and so we said well we might as well put it to good use before we just relax and and take our holiday leisure our holiday slumber to restore it's been a tough week it's been a tough week for those of you following not just in our own home in our own communities but um, in many families and so we're just taking a moment to encourage you to love 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 with all your heart with all your heart and recognize that every moment is a precious moment and families I don't know that we get to choose them they say on a soul level that we do um, and then again on this day there's many families that come together by choice and not by blood and this is a good thing. This is what reminds us who we are and what we're made of. And how we can make it through the long haul, even in the darkness, even in the difficult times. And, uh, you know, I've looked into the eyes of a lot of people that I know are my soul group. I know are my family for many, many, many lifetimes. Because we wonder where's the edge? Where's the edge of our hurt or our pain or our heartbreak? You get so close to family, and then family has to move on. They have completed their time in the earth school. And it's simply ours to accept it and to carry in our heart, the memories, and keep it moving. And speak well of the stories. Speak well of the histories. And these are the things that then we pass down a good bill of goods to our children. And, and and we allow them, you know, you have your differences, you have your tiffs and your tats, but you have to remember where the cloth and the, the web is weaved together with things that have come before and things that will come after. That's a, that's a really true fact. You know, when we're young, I don't guess we see the full picture like that, but as you grow older, you do. And you recognize that whatever you thought was so offensive or you were so violated by, you know, get over it. Get over it. Um, because one thing about it, that's what, where our caution comes in, that we're learning as, as harsh as people are now with their tongues and as callous with, as they are with what they say, that once uh, these things have slipped past over the lips, you can't pull them back. You cannot pull them back. And this is why I think the old people that raised me said, if you don't have nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all. Don't say nothing at all. Well, you could just go by with silence. And and you would think that they were shutting you up deliberately, like you weren't, you know, uh, uh, maybe they thought you weren't smart enough or it wasn't your place to say something. But all they were simply telling you is if you, you know, to, to you may not be in possession of the positive things to say, therefore, hold your peace. That's the best way to put that. But I love you all, beloved kindred. I hope you all have a beautiful, bright day hugging the ones you love and uh, rolling over on the couch for a nap if that's what it takes and safe passage and safe travel for those of you that are in states with all the snow and the wind and and, and challenging weather. Uh, may you be bright. May you have a wonderful weekend and feel fully restored as we move uh, toward the end of 2019. Peace, blessings, love, light.